Museum friends. Today for our creative escape, we're going to upcycle a plastic bottle. I find that paper mache is very relaxing. On this project, we're doing it in a simple way by just covering up the plastic bottle. You first want to tear some strips out of an old newspaper. Um, in this case, maybe about four inches long and a half an inch wide. It's good to have a few in different sizes, maybe some a quarter of an inch and some maybe three quarters of an inch. I use border paste for wallpapering as my glue. It goes on really smoothly and it's not as sticky as regular glue. I get the wallpaper paste all over my fingers so I can get the paper completely saturated and I have found that it's it's easier to get the bottle covered with the wallpaper paste too so that you have a wet surface on both sides and then I just work my way around the whole bottle overlapping the pieces until it's completely covered I think it's best to have two layers of paper on the bottom, but you need to let it dry after the first layer. Once the bottle's all covered with the newspaper, I start to punch out some fun patterns I have from my decorative paper hole punches. You want to make sure the paper that you're punching your images out of is a little bit thicker than a regular sheet of notebook paper. I used two different kinds of glue to glue down my pieces that I've punched out. First I tried a white glue called Weld Bond, just experimenting to see how well it adhered. The second one was I went back to the wallpaper paste and used it and I preferred it.
I covered the whole bottle with my punched out paper pieces and let it dry and um, started to paint the whole bottle in one color. I'm going to use a dry brush technique so that the textured pieces from the punched out paper will stand out and pop off the painted surface. When you do a dry brush technique, you want a paintbrush that has rather stiff bristles so that you can get just the top of the textured pieces. I chose a silver paint color because I wanted somewhat of a, a contrast between my two paint colors. I take my paintbrush and I try to hit all the top surfaces of the texture and I do go back in and go over the flowers that I want a little bit more silver. When my bottle is completely dry, I do paint a water-based varnish over the whole thing to keep it water resistant. You might even want to do two coats. Thanks for taking a look at my craft video. I hope you join in and try it out.